We're also getting some new insight into a possible motive to the deadly rampage. The gunman had filed a complaint about excessive overtime. And today, a union rep admitted it's a problem. Our team coverage begins with Susie Steimel digging more into the driver's staffing issues and the gunman's criminal history. Susie? Well, Liz, we've heard from those who knew Jimmy Lamb well that he had a tendency to be hot headed. We also know he complained about being overworked at this facility. And today we learned he's hardly the only driver who feels that way. I was very sad that it involved him. Joseph Cilia of UPS's Teamsters Union says he can't understand why Jimmy Lamb shot and killed three of his co workers. But he does know that Lamb was stressed out because he put it in writing. The grievance is for an employee who wants to be relieved of excessive overtime. Celia says excessive overtime is standard at the San Bruno Avenue facility. The union has seen a spike in grievances this year. Most drivers don't mind working nine and a half and 10 hours. It's the 11 and 12 and 13 hours that kind of interfere with their, lively, their lives. UPS told us we are hiring right now and we need about 10 drivers and 40 part-time package handlers. We've been working together with the local union in California for decades and we will continue to. We've also learned Jimmy Lamb had a criminal history. All of the charges stem from issues behind the wheel. Court records show he had been charged with two DUIs while driving his personal car. The first one in 2010 included hit and run charges. The second DUI was three years later. While charges were dropped that time, Lamb's license was suspended and his probation extended. Once a driver gets a DUI, he has to report it immediately to, to management. And so. They are aware. Celia says when a driver is charged with DUI, UPS takes them off the road and helps them rehabilitate before letting them back behind the wheel. He believes the rehabilitation process is thorough and fair, but the overtime isn't. When I started in 87, the excessive overtime was normally October, November, December, Christmas. I think now with the internet and people being able to shop 24 7, it's changed this business. Now, according to the union, what constitutes excessive overtime is three or more days in a row in one week that you are working nine and a half hours or more. He says uh, that Joseph Celia, who we talked to about this story, says it's not the nine and a half hour days that really bother these drivers. It's the 10, 11, 12 hours that they're working consistently year round. We're live in San Francisco. Susie Steimel, KPIX 5. We are learning more about the three UPS drivers who were targeted in yesterday's attack. We're hearing descriptions such as good friend, father figure. KPIX 5 reporter Joe Vasquez is on the co-workers struggling to deal with their loss. Very solemn. Very, very sad. Obviously, everyone's very upset. Joe Celia of the Teamsters Union says the gunman, Jimmy Lamb, started working here in 1999 and has only filed one grievance earlier this year because he'd been assigned extra overtime for more than three days in a row. But nobody here believes that's what set Jimmy off yesterday, what caused him to march into the third floor morning meeting and open fire on three colleagues, fellow drivers, Wayne Chan, Mike Lafitte, and Benson Louie. Celia says Jimmy shot Benson and Wayne first inside, then chased Big Mike outside, killing him as well. When police arrived, Jimmy turned the gun on himself. We still know very little about the gunman. He was 38 years old, lived in the sunset. The Associated Press is reporting today Lamb was involved in a custody battle with his estranged girlfriend. I just, I've been crying for the last day because this is such a tragedy. They were UPS drivers, but they were also beloved members of their families and their communities. Benson Louie was a volleyball coach. So I was on the team, he was like a second father. I've known Benson since middle school. The world lost another great person. If investigators have determined a clear motive, so far they're not telling us what it is. In San Francisco, Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5.